Boxing is back with the IBO World Light Heavyweight Championship. Can Suarez take the belt? Or will one of Britain's brightest prospects, Lyndon Arthur, seize victory? Big Fight Live, Arthur versus Suarez. Friday at 10 on Channel 5. Razaban IFL TV proudly sponsored by Everlast. It's Fight Week and making his Sky Sports and Boxer debut, Callum Simpson. Callum, good to see you. Uh, good to see you smiling, mate, because I know this is a big one for you. You've been waiting, this, you've been waiting for a while. Firstly, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm really good, thank you, mate. I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, mate, I'm good. So, you've been fighting on these small hall shows. You've been trying to build your reputation and your name. So many fighters are out there trying to build their name and reputation. What did they see in you? What did they see in me? Like I said, obviously, when, um, when, I, when I first signed me seven, I said I want to be active. Uh, when I signed me Kevin, I said I want to be active. Um, he got me out seven times in 12 months. I stopped them all, five in the first round. And I, when you're fighting, like people call that like, your journeyman or your tougher fights, I said like, let them all know I'm coming to, I'm coming to get, give it. Like, don't let, don't let anyone think they're getting easy fights. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to stop them all because if, if I say, oh yeah, I've had ten, won them all by points, yeah, it's all right. But to say you've had ten, you won them all by, well, eight by stoppage, five in the first round. It's a, it makes a big statement. So I think that's obviously sounds exciting. I mean, I'm an exciting fighter, so I think it gets people, yeah, it gets them excited, yeah. So it gets more interest. In terms of division, is, is it super middle or, or, or light heavy? What, what are we gonna kind of function out? Uh, super middle for now, super middle for now. I'll probably go up to light heavy in a, in, a, in a few years, but for now I'm making super middle very comfortably. So if I think my coach wants me to make middle, the kids kids gripping up my fat, says plenty to get off, but yes, yeah, uh, super middle for now, yeah. So when you get that phone call to say, look, the deal's done, what's your immediate reaction? I was buzzing, mate. I'm honestly, absolutely buzzing. Because it's been like, like I said, it's been a long time coming, a long time coming, so I know how hard I've worked for it. And um, when Kevin, been in the pipeline for a long time, and Kevin like, said it's 100% happening. It, so we're going on for that long, I was like, oh, is it happening, is it not? And then once I was told it all confirmed, I was yeah, I was absolutely buzzing, mate, yeah. Like you said, you had a, you had a crazy year. Five, was it five fights in one year? Seven fights. Seven, Seven fights, fights or yeah. unheard of, really. Not many people do that. Yeah. You won them all convincingly, great performances, some stoppages as well. What can you bring into all stoppages? All stoppages, all seven were stoppages. When you see the current division, the current mix of fighters, where do you see yourself now? Uh, for my for, for my ability, I see myself at the top 100% in the super middleweights in Britain. I see myself at the top. Obviously, all, all I'm lacking is that experience on the big stage. And I feel like once I get a few fights in the sky, I'll be well up there 100%. I spoke to Ben Shalom yesterday and he said to me, listen, this kid, he's been sleeping in the north. A lot of people don't know about him. He's a big, big, big problem. Yeah, 100%. I, I agree with him. Like, if you ask... Like, I've been sparring all the other top light heavyweights, top super middleweights. I've been out sparring out here, and I know what level I'm at. It's just a, just a case for me now to. I'm on that big stage now, so I can show people what I've got. If you want to go back a couple of months, I know you were invited to Canada in the training camp of Artur Baterbiev yeah. for his fight against Anthony Yard. Just yeah. you know, you just said there now that you know where you belong. How was those sparring? Were they competitive? Yeah, they were. They were competitive. Yeah, that's why they asked, asked me to come back. Obviously, I went for. It was supposed to be three weeks at first, but after the first week, they said, "Listen, you're giving him good rounds. You're challenging." him most people are getting knocked out and they're, they're, they're having to send him home whereas you we want you to come back and you come back and I went back for another three weeks so I was there for six weeks in total yeah so yeah they were, they were good they were good spars. What did kind of Arthur say to you did he give you any feedback? Uh, not much feedback to be honest he just kind of got in did his work kept himself to himself really nice guy but yeah not not too social obviously all these trainers give, give me really good feedback yeah all the, all these coaches give good feedback yeah all, all positive comments really yeah. So in, in the current in the current market in the current UK scene in the super, divi super middleweight division, who do you rate? Who do you, who would you say? And I'm not going to say name the number one guy, but the top two or three, who would you say they are? Top two or three super middleweights. Um, you'd, have, you'd have to say John Ryder. Um, obviously, I, I don't even know, mate. Over, the, the, the one Richards, obviously. I think it, for, for me to watch a little bit negative, but I think skill wise, he's a really good boxer. Um, and obviously, I think at the minute, who's doing in terms of activity, taking a lot of fights, because Zach Shelley, you got to take it off. Obviously, I believe I, I would beat him, but obviously, you got to take it off to him. He's, he's doing really well, yeah. And, and Mark Efron's doing as well, as, as, as good as well. British Commonwealth champion is, is doing well. So, yeah, there's plenty of, plenty of good names up there, yeah. You got a man fighting uh, as a main event, Lawrence Sicoli. Um, he did it the traditional way. He went British, European, world champion, and he did it in around 15 fights or 16 fights maximum. Is that someone you look at and say, you want to do exactly the same and be a champion as quick as possible? Or do you say, listen, I'm young, I've got time. You know, let me get into my 20 fights and we'll take it from there. No, nah, Alex, I'm, I'm ready to push on, mate. I want to do a similar to Dan Aziz as well. Obviously, I want, to, I want the English next. 
uh, by, by the end of this year at least and I want to be a manager for British and Commonwealth find British Commonwealth early next year there's not for like I said I find these top guys I believe in my ability and yeah I can say oh I'm young well I'm 26 but whether that's young or not I don't know but I can say oh it took me time but for me there's no, there's no reason to like I said I, I, know, I know my ability I know I had to train I know I've got, I know I'm good I am so well, I think once that now i now outside my box they can give me them opportunities so I mean there's no reason to wait too long obviously I want want a few fights get one of them bright lights get used to it and stuff but after that I'm, I'm, I'm good to go yeah Saturday night what can the fans expect to see on Sky Sports they can expect a very exciting well to see me is a very exciting fighter I wonder if that's it that's all I'm going to say and if they want to follow the journey um, we'll give the opportunity to obviously tag in uh, and give us your social media platforms Instagram Twitter handle etc uh, where can we follow the journey Callum, type in Callum Simpson I'm the one with the top off and most, I'm what, I'm the tends to not most photos obviously, we're both, obviously in the ring obviously but yeah just type in Callum Simpson I'm hoping not at home in front of the mirror nah nah not, no selfies maybe one or, two, one or two but nah not me Instagram no selfies no Callum we good to speak to you we wish you all the best on Saturday night press conference is about to start any minute now uh, I'm sure we'll catch up after the fight yeah perfect thank you thanks a lot mate cheers Callum Simpson IFL TV thank you very much thank you enough well I never shot up Harry uh, must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 